First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. We have rain highlighted on your first alert this morning. That's because some scattered showers are what we are waking up to. We're seeing some chances for scattered showers in the afternoon as well. However, the better chance for rain in the afternoon will stay pretty much to our south. This is what it looks like on the Iowa City City Cam. It's kind of a dreary start to the day with temperatures in the 60s. We're at 63 in Cedar Rapids, 65 in Iowa City, and 63 in Washington with dew points also in the 50s and 60s. This is what it looks like on our live pinpoint Doppler radar. We've got some showers mainly in our central and southern counties this morning. Let's take a closer look at Tama and Benton counties. We've got some rain moving through Blairstown, Belle Plaine, Van Horn, all seeing that rain. Farther to the south in the Iowa City area, we're seeing some heavier rain. North Liberty, uh, Iowa City, Williamsburg, all of these heavy rain showers along I-80. So be cautious on the roads as you head off to work. Uh, visibility is slightly impacted by that rain. We're going to see chances for some showers continue into the mid morning in the afternoon. Things quiet down a little bit, especially further north. We'll see some of that clearing. However, the farther south you go, the more cloud cover we'll see and the more chances for rain we'll see as we head through the day. In the evening and in overnight hours, we start to clear out a little bit, but still partly cloudy skies in eastern Iowa overnight. We'll wake up to a partly cloudy conditions on Tuesday morning. Highs for today climbing into the 70s, 78 in Decorah. 76 in Tama and 73 in the forecast for Washington overnight. Lows cooling into the 50s and 60s. 60 in Oskaloosa, 58 in Cedar Rapids, and 56 degrees expected in Prairie du Chien overnight tonight. Now, this morning isn't the only chance of rain we have this week. Wednesday into Thursday, we're going to see more chances for showers and storms come into the area, and we're going to be a little bit quieter on Friday, but still some showers lingering in the area on Friday. In terms of how much rain we're expected to get, we could get up to an inch in spots over the next several days with the highest amounts the farther south you go. In our nine day forecast, temperatures staying in the 70s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with some scattered showers possible not only today but also on Wednesday, a little bit drier Tuesday. Highs climbing into the low 80s starting Thursday, continuing for the second half of the nine day forecast with overnight temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Now the weather wise question. On August 12th, 1974, an F4 tornado touched down in Delaware County. What wind speeds did F4 tornadoes have? Here are the options. Rebecca, what do you think the answer is? These are all much faster than I would have ever guessed a tornado could go. I am just gonna put it out there at B. I have no clue, that's a random guess. The answer is C, ah. 207 to 260 miles per hour, but you're right, that is very strong winds. And F4 tornadoes, that's actually the previous EF scale, because when that tornado occurred, the enhanced Fujita scale hadn't been created yet, they were still using the old uh, F scale, but that's a, that, so that those wind speeds were based on that old F scale. And there's still another step up with an EF5, so it can get faster. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why it's important to always take warnings uh, seriously when there's severe weather. Thankfully, though, we're just seeing run-of-the-mill showers and storms this week. Definitely. All right. Thanks, Hannah.